Alright, what the hell is the... Okay, we want to go up. Like here. Then to the left. And down? I'm not entirely sure. Did I come this way? Oh yeah, no, this is right. Okay. I remember you guys. You guys are annoying. There we go. So from here, I wanna... The group should be like... Somewhere here? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I forgot you guys explode. Looking at the map, the grub should be here to my right. How do I get that though? It doesn't look like any of these floors are breakable. But what I can tell. It doesn't look like any of them are shaking. I mean, might as well try. Alright, I did nothing. Mm. I hate you guys. Yeah, you're very annoying. I write in a site called Ouroboros. It's all in Spanish, so I only show with Spanish speaking places on the internet. It's a side project started by a few friends of mine, not my actual job. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. I used to do reviews of music for some, some blogs. I had my own blog too a long time ago. Long time ago! I mean like almost 10 years ago. I don't know, it was like 2010, 2009. I do enjoy it, just writing reviews. Not so much the reviews themselves. It's like when you write a review, you kind of like... You you kind of like explore the stuff a bit better, you know? Oh! I saw it. Alright, we need to get souls for that. So, with music, it was like, if I was gonna write a review for a, a specific album, it was pretty cool, because I would get to know the album, like, as good as possibly, you know. That was pretty fun for me. There we go. This should be the grub. What? So there we go. It's another grub. How many grubs do we even have left? One. Two. Three, four. Oh my god, it's more than I thought. Five, six, I think. Yeah, five, six, seven. All right, so here's this is where we want to go now. So we want to go back and take the, the tram line thing, which thankfully should be pretty close to where we already are. So it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I forgot I don't have the gathering storm anymore, so the money doesn't come to me. I have to pick it up. It's fine though. There we go, that's a tram line. Tram line. Go to the right. That's not what I meant to do. Press the glowing button, yes. Should take us to the kingdom's edge, I think. Or right next to it. Like right next to the hive. Exit. Let's check where we are. Yeah. We're there. Okay, um, there's a few grubs here. How the hell do I even get them? The whole music theory goes over my head. I'm not really much of a music theory type of person. I know some music theory. I have studied some music theory, but I have never like really like gone deep into it. I'm not really much of a, a theory girl, you know? I just... I'm more of like a feelings girl, I guess. At least when it comes to music, you know? When I listen to, to some music, I'm not really worried about like the technicalities of the music. I'm just worried about whether or not I enjoy the music, you know? Whether or not the, the music resonates with me or gives me some feeling. Sometimes a positive feeling, sometimes a negative feeling. But that's what I'm interested in. It's the, the feelings the music produces on me. Knowing some technicality is cool, though. You you can... Oh, that sucked. You can definitely explore some music and enjoy it for the technicalities. Especially, like, classical music. You can be like, wow, this is crazy technical. How did this person do that? That's insane. And that's really cool. But I don't, I don't really think that's what I look for when I listen to music. 
was because I, I don't really have a classical music background. So I do enjoy classical music, but I enjoy it, like I said, for the, you know, the feeling of it. No, not for any technicalities or anything. So I'm wondering... No, definitely not that. I was gonna say, I'm wondering if the path to the grub is gonna be like through this wall, but that does not seem to be the case. That's one of the reasons I tend to enjoy music that's not technical at all, quite a lot. Like, for example, noise music. I don't think you can get less technical than noise. I mean, there is some theory involved in noise and there are things like technique and whatnot, obviously. But it is still a very like free-flowing type of music, you know, like free jazz, you know. It's really just like almost entirely about the feeling and that's why I like it so much. Alright, so what we want here, we want to figure out how to get to this little grub. Should be further to the right than than that. Re really, really gotta keep watching where I'm stepping, seeing if the ground fails or something at some point. Oh, it does right here. There we go. Wasn't that difficult actually. The so grub should be over here. Yeah, there we go. It's a pass down. Hello, friends. They don't seem that friendly. Hello. There we go. That well, seems like that was it. Just a grub. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Jazz fusion is best jazz though. Romantic night from bands Return to Forever is godlike. Always my top 10. Never heard of it. I've heard some Jazz Fusion stuff though. There was a band I really liked. What was the name? I think it was The Shining? Maybe? It was like a Jazz Fusion band. A bit experimental, a bit alternative. They did some cool stuff. I think it was The Shining. But... Alright, now this grub, I think it's gonna be from this side. But we might as well go all the way there and check what we're missing there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This is already here, the kingdom's edge. We might as well keep going, right? I like smooth jazz. I think my probably my favorite jazz album is Miles Davis' Kind of Blue, which is kind of, you know, a generic answer, isn't it? But it is just really good. I just love it. It's also, like, it has its fair bit of, like, I wouldn't say experimentalness, but you know, alternativeness to it. It is a lot of free improv. Well, maybe not free improv in the sense it is not free jazz, but it is a lot of improv and, and I like that and it is so good. I, I love a kind of blue. Also, a lot of uh, Bitches Brew, of course. But um, at this point, I'm just name dropping famous jazz albums, not even like alternative stuff. <laughs> So, what, what even is the, the bragging rights on that, right? I do like some some sort of jazz experimental stuff, of course. Some free jazz. You have, uh, what's his name? Peter Brotsman, I think. The, the one who did the Machine Gun album, very famous. Also, like, Oba Tyler. Oba Tyler is, like, incredibly famous. And even, like, Coltrane. Coltrane himself did tons of, like, experimental jazz, you know, free jazz. I think he mentions he was very inspired by by Over Tyler himself. So we go, got the map updated. So that is something that we're missing somewhere here. But the co train also did a, a few more like conventional things too, which is fine. I don't think you need to do exclusively experimental stuff to be re a renowned experimental artist. Just do whatever you feel like doing, right? Isn't that the, the spirit of the whole thing? It is for me. So I like Co-Train. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure how to get to that. Oh, hello, Dick. Lost my trappy emotes. <laughs> oh, I guess that's what you have for not subscribing. 
<laughs> Just joking, I'm the one who told him not to subscribe. <laughs> it's kind of a waste of money. Alright, let me call you on Discord. Star voice call. Experimental music is cool, but also getting paid. <laughs> that is true. But I don't think in Coltrane's case it was much... I don't know, maybe it was. We can't really say, can we? we? We don't really know what he was thinking. But even the stuff he did that wasn't experimental, it wasn't really like very commercial stuff. I mean, some of it was. But it was still... It was not that it wasn't... It's like he had some very experimental stuff and some stuff that was like alternative with you know i kind of consider alternative to be kind of like experimental but not all the way experimental you know it's more like is it here no oh. that's just dick's eating noises hello dick hello that's my asmr yum 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 so that's something i'm missing here but i'm not entirely sure how to get to it I don't really see that the ground shaking. Hmm. But yeah, I, the code train, I don't think it was kind of like, you know, like for example, Beatles. The Beatles have done some experimental stuff, but they've also done tons of commercial stuff, right? I don't think code train is like that. Code train has done tons of experimental stuff and some alternative stuff, you know? Maybe it's gonna be size actually. Oh, hello, friend. I see you've been taught a nail art by my brother Shio. How fortunate of you. Yes, you were the mightiest of the great nail sage pupils. Pupils? I don't know how to say that word. Far out, Chinese master and myself. My brother and my master loved him very much. He was always aloof, but not unkind. When we last spoke, he said he was going to teach himself something completely new. I wonder if he achieved that goal. So he's the boy that does painting. That charm you bear, it seems the Grail Nail Sage has deemed you skilled enough in the nail arts to earn his highest esteem. I do not begrudge you his love, you have earned it. And perhaps by helping you along your path, I have redeemed myself, if only a little. Rest here if you must, but do not stay longer than you need to. Alright, boy. I've done this before, yeah, brother Mato. In your lonely home at the top of the world, do you still think of me as an enemy? In the future, if you listen, I'll tell you why I chose to tread this path. Um, hmm. Maybe I, I need to break the bench? Doesn't seem like that worked. How's life, Liga? It's doing pretty okay. Playing some Hollow Knight, having some fun. Very fun game. Already killed a, a very challenging boss. That was a lot of fun. And I'm just kind of like exploring, trying to like figure things out. Are you doing like New Game Plus? Not New Game Plus, but it is like I've already finished the game. But the game has multiple endings, so after you finished it, you can just like keep going, you know? Alright, so it's time for the Hollow Knight wiki. <laughs> Hollow Knight Wiki There we go Revisit the broken vessel boss fight in the Asian basin That's something my friend Sleepy Slug told me to do So we'll go back for that in the Asian basin too That should be another boss fight I assume Usually when you revisit the boss fight, it's just like another boss fight. So let's look here. Kingdom's Edge. Because I don't really see how to get to the secret path here or the secret room. Kingdom's Edge. Maybe I marked it in the wrong place. Yes, I did mark it in the wrong place. It is between... No, I marked it in the wrong place, I think. Oh! Oh, I see how to get to it. I have to go all the way to the other side. Alright. Alright, let's do that. Where are we going to get Trappy Chum play Silent Hill? I've actually never played it, can you believe it? Because I, I never really had the, the... The PlayStation video games. Stronger Brothers. So I think the access to the secret path is here. I think maybe if I just break it down. 
Oh, it doesn't seem like that did anything. Yeah, I've thought about playing some some horror games on stream, but I don't know. Um, I'm a bit of a bitch to be honest, so I'll be way too oh scared. My God. <laughs> oh, I found it. There we go. <sighs> Gotta pay attention for it. But yeah, Silent Hill is one of those old games that I've always been like, maybe I should revisit it. So there should be another secret. Yeah, there we go. Should be another secret path here. Hello, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get to the grubs. Just pay attention where we're walking. All right. I think what I really want to do, I want to do some secret of mana. With Dick, because that's like a, a old school RPG from the Super Nintendo, but you can actually play it co-op. So I really want to do that. It's one of my like old games that I really like. Also, not just Secret of Mana, but the rest of the Seiken and Setsu thing. I remember Seiken and Setsu three. I that that one I I really like. So oh, found it. But yeah, I've I've been wanting to to revisit old stuff and just. Oh my god, yeah, this is this is not an easy enemy. Let's get away from here. I wanna here. play System Shock because that game seems pretty spooky. Ever played Dead Space? Uh. Dead Space 1 and 2. I played them, but it was like, okay. I don't know, I didn't like it too much. Mm. The controls felt really bad. I see. That's what really. So there should be a grub to the right, I think. Well, that, that, that is gonna be pretty annoying to get through. I've played Dead Space 1 for like 10 minutes, I think. Never really went far. You know what I really wanna do? Thief Goes. That's a game I've played like a long time ago and never really got far. And also, I could do a, a Deus Ex run. The first one. I've definitely... I, I, I finished that game before, but it would be nice to revisit the first it. One? Yeah, the first one. Have I ever played I've never played it? I've never played it. Maybe you should watch my playthrough then. It is a pretty fun game. It is those, but it's still pretty fun. Isn't it better to play it on my own? Because it's an RPG? Um, I mean. You can play it on your own and also watch the playthrough. Because, like I said, it is uh, an RPG with like multiple endings and multiple different choices you can make. So you can definitely like watch someone else play it while you also play it and just do different things, I guess. I always liked doing Deus Ex as like non-lethal. That's how I have like the most fun with it. Oh no, I have to break the whole thing again. Oh no, it's just center. Alright. They say it in set to three, that's the best. Yeah, I remember. I remember I, I liked it. I played it with my brother, like oh my god, I messed that up. <sighs> ah, Alright, let's go back. But yeah, I remember I played with my brother when like super young. And the game was in Japanese, so I didn't understand anything. So I got the game in English, and I also still didn't understand anything because I didn't. I was really bad in English, but we still had a lot of fun. It's just a really fun co-op game, co-op RPG. Is there gonna be another? Yes. All right. How the how? Excuse me, how the hell did I miss this? I literally... Oh my god, this game sometimes. Duran's a soldier, so he fits thick. Is he with the, the one with the red hair? That I remember he has like a green armor and like red hair, I think. Is that him? I think that might be the main character. Right? Or maybe you meet someone else. I don't, I don't really remember much of the characters. I remember that was like... A Neko boy, maybe? Like a ninja? Neko ninja? Something like that? I don't even remember. Maybe it was a girl? I don't remember. It's me forever. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Maybe I went too far down? Are we gonna have any secrets here? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, second is it's a really fun secret of mana, really fun. Yeah, let's just go down. So I do want to revisit those games. I do want to do a Chrono Trigger playthrough as well. It's my favorite RPG overall, and I've 
I've done Chrono Trigger like a hundred times throughout my life, but it, it is a type of game that you always like kind of want to do it again, you know? It is so good. It is not co-op though, sadly, but... Oh, I want to do Diablo 2. Diablo 2 would be a lot of fun. I also kind of want to do Dark Souls with Dick, but he, he doesn't really want it. So... There we go. I did a little bit of Dark Souls with Gwen. That was a lot of fun. That was a long time ago, though. I'll go back to speedrunning Dark Souls 2. I liked to do that. It was a lot of fun. What the hell is the grub? Oh, he should be up, actually. Hmm. Jiren is the red head with the banana like helmet. Hawkeye is the pup head ninja. Reese is the dragon princess. Maybe it's Hawkeye, yeah, the, the one I was singing. Who, who's the one with green armor and red hair? Maybe I'm mistaken with someone else. Angela is the anime mage, so he fits your look. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been forever. Um, well... Seems like the grub is gonna be hidden. Is this a breakable wall? No. Is this breakable? No. Mm -hmm. That's Kali, who's a child priest in the Wolfman, whose name I can't remember. Yeah, maybe that's the Wolfman I'm thinking of. The cowboy. I guess he's actually a dog boy. I mean, there's definitely nothing down here. Why am I even wasting my time? The grub is somehow right above this area. No, that was nothing. I thought I heard something, but... <clears throat> Let's go this way and look. Grub is still a little bit further up than where we are right now. Still further up, really? Hmm. Here, maybe? Huh. I'm not really sure what this grub is. It's also not making any noise, maybe because I'm too far. But... Maybe I need to just go up. Why is the grub really not here? It's a bit weird. Aesthetically, though, I think you would like the designs from Legend of Mana, aka Second the Sets of Four. There's a cat girl who fights with nunchucks in Legend of Mana. Maybe I'll play that then. Maybe that's the cat girl I'm thinking of. Oh, the grub is here. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so stupid. There we go. We got the grub and we also got this, the secret area. So there we go. But yeah, I, I like Seiken and Setsu. It's a lot of fun to play with my brother. So we liked playing RPGs together. Also liked some... That was like a Gundam game for the Super Nintendo. I liked that a lot. So it's kind of like... Fire Emblem-ish? Like... What's the other one that's kind of like Fire Emblem? Shiny Force, yes. Shiny Force-ish. That was like a Gundam game. It was like tactics and stuff. That was really cool. I liked it. It was in Japanese though, so I didn't understand anything. But like I said, I usually don't understand... Didn't understand anything when playing games anyways. So, not like it mattered. Please stop. Oh my god. The jumpy big boy is like... He's tough. He's the big boss here. Alright. There we go. I hear the noises from the hive. Mm. A little bit of damage, that's okay. Hello, Dave. How are you doing on this evening? We're doing some Hollow Knight endgame. So basically, I've already done the first ending of the game. 
Now I'm just kind of like trying to find some secret stuff and start working towards doing the other endings of the game. So there we go. Quick slash. I assume this increases our attack speed. If so, that seems really good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get the grub and then I think I'm gonna go do the king thing. Like hit the king with the dream nail and see where that takes us. I am good, just relaxing. Oh, that's good to hear. Alright, never mind. The grub is not actually here. Let me see something. How the hell you get that grub? Am I missing something? Are you, you see that grub right there, right? How, how the heck? Alright, you know what? I'll worry about that after. Alright, so um, actually, I do need to go back to the wiki. Let's go Hollow Knight endings. So here's the thing, most of the things for the endings are secret. So I am gonna use the wiki to make, make sure I'm not wasting my time. I have a great idea, Trappy plays Erogis. You know, I've played, I've played Nekopara. Well, played Nekopara. But I've I've done like I went through the whole story because the way that Kopara goes is like you have the story right and then you have sex after the story and I went through the story and I was like this is kind of garbage but all right it's kind of funny in places I don't know so I just went through it and then it started the sex spots and I was like wow this is garbage <laughs> so I just stopped. I think I went through like two sex scenes and I was just like, really? Do people really like masturbate to this? How the heck? My friend played that game and then he played all the other games too, like the I like games. I, I like the art style. I like the cat girls and etc. But just, I don't know, the sex scenes, they just, ugh. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Also, they make slurping noises while they're, they're having sex. It's just the weirdest thing. All right, so I need the Void Heart. And for the second, second ending, I just need the Void Heart. For the third ending, I need to defeat the Radiance. I have no idea what that means. So let's do the second ending. Acquire the Void Heart. Alright. Void Heart. <sighs> How to acquire. Found in the birthplace, an area that is located at the bottom of the abyss, on the left side. Its entrance will only open if King's Soul Charm is equipped. At the end of the area is an egg, which, upon hit with the Awoken Dream Nail, reveals a memory of the night involving vessels and the Pale King. Alright, what the hell is... The King's Soul Charm. Oh, there we go. This charm replaces King's Soul. It cannot be equipped. So I assume King's Soul is gonna be... I hit the, the King with the Dream Nail and I do his quest, maybe? <laughs> King's Soul is fairly useful charm for exploration, platforming challenges, uh, being superior to I've lords, blah blah blah. Don't care. Because King's Soul allows the player, blah blah blah. The charm is primarily only equipped to unlock the birthplace at the bottom of the abyss, after which it is permanently replaced by the Void Heart. Yeah, taken off the body of the Pale King after completing the White Palace. Alright, so that's what we should do now. Alright, good. We have a direction. It's more that I can ask for. Okay, so from here... the We, we just use the, the, the thingy and teleport to where we left a portal. And then we hit the boss. Not the boss, the king. With the Awoken Dream Nail. And that should take us to the White Palace, it seems. Map updated. That's good. Oh yeah, let's check the, the charm. Quick slash. Born from imperfect discarded nails that have been fused together. The nails still long to be with a lot of better to slash more rapidly with that nail. I don't know if I want to equip that because it takes three. So I think I'll just keep that as like collectible. Because I, I like the charms that increase the range of the nail. I think having a longer range of the nail is better than having faster nail attacks, to be honest. So, I'm okay with this. There we go, let's 